I just jumped in the water. guys, Justin here with yet another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you all the best fishing and diving tips here in the Aloha State as well as some fishing and diving vlogs. So if you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe to post videos like this every week, even twice a week. In today's episode, we are actually doing a, a pretty long vlog. This is a spearfishing vlog. I know you guys really like these, um, but <laughs> I did not have enough time to um, put all of the content into one episode, so I'm splitting it into two. So this is going to be the spearfishing action as well as grilling one of the fish. But I'm going to show you guys three different ways to cook fish in this little series. So stay tuned for part two. I really hope you guys enjoy part one. So let's jump right into the video. So I'm going to go diving today. I have to charge the GoPro overnight. Oh, almost forgot my other SD card. Get some film from my buddy. That way we get more content for the videos. It's what, 7 o'clock in the morning, 6.45. It's so dark right now. Got all my dive stuffs in a pile right here. I have to wash my mask again because I haven't used it in a couple of months. So I make sure I have everything before I even jump in the car. You don't want to be going anywhere without it. I think we have everything. Got my dive buoy, mask and fins, wetsuit, weight belt, and some bags for the fish if we catch. Hopefully we can catch some fish today. All right, next stop. Gonna pick up my dive partner, Kaimana. Haven't dove with him in a long time. It's been like six months, I think, ever since the Defend and Destroy diving tournament back in June or July. Um, so yeah, it's been a while. Water looks nice. He's free, so looking forward to jumping in. Wow, pretty shallow water. Uh, what are these guys Sitting I mean, down there. You already know these grounds, right? Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this. So. You know, like, as soon as we jump in, that's where we're <laughs> the blue. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Still view up? Got a Kaimana? <laughs> yes, uh, so, getting ready right now. Setting up all our stuffs. Jump in the water, see if we can catch some fish. Water's super nice today. Alright, you guys just seen the first drop of the dive, also the first miss on that Munu, which is a type of goatfish, otherwise known as a Joe Lewis here in Hawaii, that's what we like to call it. And just look at this water clarity, look how perfect these conditions are. The surf report said 2-3 to three feet, but really I think it was lower than that. And it was also really light winds, un anything under 8 miles per hour variable winds super perfect conditions really excited to share the rest of this dive with you and really quick a lot of you guys have been asking for uhu hawaiian parrotfish hunting tactics and i really want to put together a really awesome video for that but in the meantime just really dissect this dive because me and kaimana run into a lot of uhu so you guys can get used to recognizing the swim patterns and how we're approaching these fish so look at this uhu right here swim across from me could have took a shot but i didn't and this was like the third drop of the dive so the fish are pretty tame at this point so yeah let's jump into the rest of this dive and i can kind of talk you through what i'm seeing and how i'm approaching these fish so you guys notice just how close that uhu came in so i took the same drop on the same rock to try to bring it in the same way that I did the first time but sometimes you only get one shot or one clean shot on the fish and other than that you just have to work really hard to get it 
even if it's a team fish you can kind of see it swimming in the bottom of this little sand pocket right here so i'm kind of just trying to hide behind this big rock and try to bring it in try to get it closer and see which um, point of the rock it's going to come to so i can kind of set up my shot but it's kind of keeping the distance so on this next drop i actually go down into the sand pocket and try to hide behind these big shelves of rocks you'll you'll see me right here kind of push away that moana which is another type of goldfish um, you can shoot them if you want they're really good tasting fish they just don't get as big as the other ones so i'm hiding behind this boulder right here behind this rock and i apologize my gopro is angled downwards but i'm um, just kind of scoping it out seeing where the fish is a lot of them are on the left side of my screen that you guys can't see above this shelf so i'm going to swim backwards onto the shelf and kind of try to keep hiding and see if i can bring in the fish so you see the uhu in the background right there i'm going to see if it's going to swim to the right side of this rock but unfortunately it doesn't so um yeah i kind of just give up on this fish so when i say give up it's not just after one or two drops if i if i think i can land a fish and i think it's tame enough i'll try to work it four or five drops before i decide to just kind of let it go um, and that's what kind of when i decide um, whether or not it's worth it to just keep pursuing that one fish or that one fish pile so this is an uhu right here kind of swimming on its own and you can see it just you know tuck right behind that rock and just kind of dig out after working those two uhus i noticed a nice little mempachi hole which is kind of like a dark crevice um, you don't want to go and swim too deep into caves but if you notice these big caves like this there's always a chance there's mempachi which is what i'm going to shoot right here these are big eyed soldier fish they hang out in dark caves during the daytime and they come out and hunt and feed at night you guys can see just how big their eyes are so if you guys are new to spear fishing or wondering what you can shoot with a three prong or a pole spear always look for these mempachis or a veil veils which they practically look the same inside of little holes really awesome fish to eat really awesome fish to shoot and catch so yeah always try to catch some mempachi that's a really good beginner friendly fish even these two right here this is a towel which is a type of snapper um, it's an invasive fish so anytime you see one and you can shoot one just shoot it i mean they taste really good really awesome to cook so if you have the opportunity to shoot towels just shoot them so um, i reloaded the three prong right there couldn't see any other mempachi but i do see this cole which is a really awesome fish to eat kind of like a manini um, you can tell they're black they have a nice distinctive orange ring yellow ring around the eyes and yeah really awesome fish to eat and one quick hack because i killed that fish right away i just will string it through the eyeballs if you guys already brained it it's really easy convenient you don't have to go through the small gill plate for that so i'm just going back around the same mempachi hole mempachi cave that i was looking through and you can see one right there so i'm just trying to wait for one to come out and you guys can kind of just right there i kind of rushed a shot but you can just hang out and see if the fish are going to come up and come out and usually mempachi are really curious and they'll swim out to the opening of the cave and that'll give you an opportunity to shoot them so over here i'm back to hunting uhus you can see i'm hiding behind this nice rock where there's a big sand channel on the side and that's where usually uhus like to hang out is near channels and they'll be swinging swimming along so you can see that big school of fish on the inside of that sand channel so i'm kind of just setting myself up right there and um yeah trying to line up a shot and i missed that one right there so as i'm swimming further along this sand channel i run into this really tame uhu and i'm kind of just figuring out what's the best place i can hide what's the best area where i can hide to bring it in kind of draw that curiosity out of the fish um, because if the fish the fish are curious creatures and they'll swim up to you if they don't know where you are if you're hiding really good if you have good techniques to call them in so i'm just trying to bring this fish in right here and it just so happens that this huge roy which is a peacock grouper an invasive fish they really destroy the native species here swims right up to me literally it's going to swim from right to left um, right there you can see it massive fish or pretty big good size for the roy and i'm going to line up a shot right there so didn't choose to pursue the uhu want to clean this fish off help clean the reef and sometimes you'll shoot these fish 
these roy and they'll spit out like baby uhus or other type of the type of fish they really do hurt our ecosystem so anytime you guys get a chance to shoot roy just shoot them um, even if it means giving up another good fish um, in order to take the shot on the roy so right here i'm gonna brain the fish um, kind of getting cloudy from the um, fish's blood but um yeah brain the fish put on my kui and off we go So as I swam further out, for, for in most cases, um, in some cases actually it's not true, but the further out you swim, usually the game gets better, obviously it gets deeper, but the more fish you're going to encounter, especially on Oahu, and um, the more tame the fish are going to be. So you guys can see, um, it's a little bit deeper waters, I'd say this is around 25, 30 feet, I know it's not that deep, but it's deep for this spot, and you can see that big school of fish on the outside. And you actually can see some moo as well. So I noticed on this grounds, the further out you swim, the more moo you'll run into. And I actually shot a moo over here. If you haven't seen that video, just click that little link above. Um, here is another drop right here. I noticed this Roy, which is the fish that we just shot. And I'm gonna try to land this one with a three prong. So I'm kind of just stalking it right here. And this is kind of how the fish hangs out. They're very territorial in areas, but um, when they swim, they usually turn around, but that one didn't. So I wasn't able to shoot it then it kind of just hid in some holes this right here is a Pananu, which is a star eyed um, parrotfish or um, I'm pretty sure that's what the name of it is but um, they like to hang out in rock areas and you can see I just missed that one right there so I've had a lot of opportunities in this dive to shoot and land fish but it kind of just wasn't working out for me and my GoPro died shortly after this drop right here You'll see I take a drop on all these uhus right here and you'll you'll notice from Kaimana's perspective this same drop later on in this video. So right now I'm just trying to call in um, another uhu before my, my GoPro dies and um, just wasn't able to. I took a shot at one but wasn't able to land it and was able to get away with this kumu at the end of the dive. So now we're going to transition over into Kaimana's dive. So I really hope you guys enjoy this unique perspective from both of our cameras. Dude, I just jumped in the water. <laughs> Justin's over there. Look, right here. Mean. 30 seconds.
All right, I just finished the dive. Packed up all my gear in here, make sure I washed all the sand off. Got some fish in here. I can open it up later some more. GoPro died halfway through, so I wasn't able to film everything. But my buddy got some footage too, so let's see what he got as well. So got some Roy, this peacock grouper. These are invasives. It's good to clean them up off the reef. Got a little Kole pan fried fish right there, as well as the Mempachi. And my absolute favorite fish to eat, this Kuma right here, it's a goldfish. So I'm gonna cook this one up, special kind way, and show you guys how that comes out. A Kumu and a Roy. <laughs> These guys. What is that? Oh, an Olua. <laughs> See the shoot? See the fish? Look, open it. Well, we have the fish in the trunk. We got a barbecue. My friend just had a baby, so I'm gonna go celebrate a little bit. Barbecue, cook the kala. Probably save the kumu and the um, empachi and kola for another day. So I'll show you guys how to grill a kala. If you guys want to steam some fish or grill some fish. Wanna get slapped with the fish? <laughs> give a kiss. Shane, give a kiss. Really in the collar right now. In case any of you guys are wondering, this is what I film on right here. DJI Osmo Mobile 2. This is a gimbal for you guys' phones. Um, you have to chew it and swallow it. Let's go. Or you can, you Come can on, dude. Johnny Black. Chew it. Yeah, hey, get over here. Open your mouth after you chew. Come on, I see. My nose. <laughs> You cannot drink oh. water. You cannot drink water. <laughs> Bruh. Lose money. Let's cook them until the meat is tender. Good boy. That's good already. Look at that. Woo. Come on. Is that baby? I cleaned his hands. Ah. Hold on, I just want to take a picture. Ah. Okay, okay. Are you good or what? Here's my ears. <laughs> my ear drums. <laughs> As you guys can see, the meat is nice and tender. Got some of my grandma's special sauce, shoy vinegar, Hawaiian chili pepper. Just gotta do is dip it in there. It's nice white meat. With kala, you don't need to gut it, or you, need, you don't need to clean it necessarily. Just try to stay away from the gut. After you guys grill it, you don't need to take the gills out or anything. So just all this nice white meat, you just wanna peel this rough skin off. You guys can see all that right there. 
action. I'm gonna try this fish for the first time. It's all the white meat right there. Dip it in the sauce. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want it nice. Because it has more of like a seaweed taste and like ooze and stuff. Because that's what they eat seaweed. Mm -hmm. Thank you.